Today's the day. We're doing another mug video. I am so pumped, honestly. I did a little poll on Instagram and people wanted to see another one. I was gonna do another one anyway. <laughs> let's just get straight into it. This is the menu for today, just to get you hooked into the video. And let's go have breakfast. I did all my research at Screwfix. Best use of my time. I'm gonna put the recipe up here whilst I do it, just rather than me actually telling you because I don't think anyone actually listens when I talk or when I'm doing it. What? I'm gonna say it again. The reason why I'm doing this video, Obviously, I'm a big advocate for mug recipes. I just think some of them are so good, so easy. I mean, it's just ideal. You know that thing where like the suction, that just happened. Right, at the moment, I've just mixed that all together. It's, a, it's not, like pancake batter to me, I thought like it's quite runny and this is not. But that's why I do these days, to test it. Cool, stick that in. I'm not sure if it looks like a pancake. Looks Gucci. I'm gonna add some maple syrup. That'll do. And we'll give it a go. Ooh. Why is it orange? Oh my god. It tastes a bit gingerbread-y. I mean, it looks the colour of gingerbread. I'm eating something that is blue, green, purple, orange, and yellow. Interesting mix. Why does it taste of gingerbread? Is it the baking soda? That was interesting. I'd give that a 5 out of 10. It tasted nice, but it wasn't a blueberry pancake. It's lunchtime, kids. Lego. I'm doing an omelette for lunch. So here we have our ingredients. We've got the peppers, spring onions, tomatoes. We've got the bread. That's so from a roll. We've got mozzarella. We've got the egg. We've got, oh, I need milk. Milk. We've also got tomato ketchup. So I love tomato ketchup and omelette. So now we just all bang it into the mug. And wow, there we go. We've got an omelette. And now we put her into the microwave. Out she comes. We leave her there to sit for a second and then she goes back in for another minute. Oh my God. That is huge! Put some ketchup on top, because I love me some ketchup. It looks quite nice. It smells nice. Let's get this party started. See that mozzarella? That looks delicious! That's really good. That was delicious. I didn't even talk much, that's why I'm done so quickly. 8 out of 10. That, that was delicious. What more could you want? Right, now it's time for a mid-afternoon snack. This time around, we are making cheese and herb muffins. Now the recipe yeah. serves six, so I'm gonna have to make six. And maybe freeze them? We'll just see what happens. So, we enter the kitchen. And I take a bite out of the parmesan, desgostang! And I grate it for about half an hour, because I have to do 100 grams, it's very exhausting. But I finally do it, so I'm just gonna congratulate myself with a round of applause and a pat on the back. So then I wipe my hands on my new dungarees and remember I've got to put my apron on, that's better. So now I am adding the self-raising flour to the bowl. And now I chop up my herbs, so I've got some dill, I've got some, I was gonna say lavender. It's not lavender, it's thyme and some chives. So I chop all those up really finely, put them in the bowl as you can see, and then I'm adding everything else like the baking soda, the milk, the yogurt and other ingredients that I can't remember and I whisk that all together. Oh yes, and then I add my eggs and give it a good little mix and there's me gracefully showing you the mixture. And then I wonder, how am I gonna do this? So I go to grease my mug with some butter just to stop it from sticking and I put it into the mug and there she is looking gorgeous and then we put her into the microwave for four minutes, which is very long. And you'll see that it doesn't need to be in there for that long. You just wait. So I fold her out and there we have the muffin. It's a muffin. Feels quite dense though. Line. I proceed to cook the rest of the muffins in the microwave for less time actually I did one for three and a half minutes then did one for three minutes And then I finished off with one with two and a half minutes and you can see the progress I made the first one was very dense Look at that, look at that progress As solid as a rock and the last one was actually fluffy it's like a muffin Should be mm. Oh god, I mean I've dipped in something there mm. Yeah, it's a little bit, bit dry mm. Mm. 
As you can tell because I'm doing voiceovers, I was having a bit of trouble with my camera today. So I had spinach and ricotta lasagna, which was amazing. The way you order it all up is you put the salsa or tomato sauce, pasta sauce in the bottom. You then add a layer of lasagna sheet, which you boil in water for 10 minutes beforehand. Then some spinach ricotta, then some mozzarella cheese, and then the process basically repeats until you have a lasagna in a mug. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you put it in the microwave for two, for one and a half minutes. And then you have lasagna. This one, I have to admit, I didn't even record a review for this one. This one was so good. It looks good. I mean, look at her. She's grace, she is beauty, but look at that. Oh, that's like food porn right there. It was delicious. I the best mug thing I've probably ever made. It was so nice. And then I filmed on my phone for dessert. Can I interest you in a chocolate fondant? Yes, please, sir. Gucci. So this is me making the chocolate fondant. I have since looked up this recipe again and it turns out that the recipe serves four. I thought it served one. So luckily I gave my sister and Zach one, so they shared it, which still isn't great because it serves four and they're two. That's the camera, ma'am. This is what we call Chris. He's making a cup of coffee, ma'am. Man, yeah, ma'am. But we move on. It sort of overflowed in the mug, which is fine. Wow. Bon appetit. Thanks, Harry. Mm. Good. Mm. It tastes just like mm. So good. Is it? Yeah. Sick. I then halved the recipe to make my dad and myself one, which was a lot better. Didn't overflow in the mug, thankfully. But you could even reduce the recipe even more because it does rise a lot, and like I said, it does serve four. But it's good to know that the recipe can be halved and used in mugs. But yeah, this was divine. I'm not gonna lie, look at it. Oh, it tastes like a chocolate fondant. It was really good, but quite rich and quite a lot. So there we are. That's the end of the video. I'm sorry that towards the end it sort of fizzled out, but what can you do? Until next time, guys. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Oh my god, that's so light.